We're doing a spray up today on this adorable little toy poodle named Dream. And we're using the freeze it. So when I do a spray up, I always start from the front, work back, and then work from the back to the front. <clears throat> so everybody put all the little extra hair pieces in, little bees. And you always want to start with their head perpendicular to the ground. And you do, the smaller the sections you take, um, <clears throat> smaller the sections you take, the more volume you'll get. And now, I'm not gonna talk a lot because I'm gonna be putting my comb in my mouth, so you'll get to hear me. So. You only spray the bottom two thirds on the first pass. You don't want to spray it all the way up the hair because you're going to want to manip manipulate it later. You want to have enough that you have a good base, but you don't need a ton with the freeze it because it works so well. And it dries faster. It's a very fast drying. They can try this one too. This one a little bit wider. That's <laughs> one. That's one. That's one. That's one. That's one. That's You want to make sure you're combing the entire time. That's as important. Are you combing straight out or into any shape or do you have any way? You kind of comb slightly to a U. Mm -hmm. A U. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but you're lifting the hair. You want to put a lot of air into the hair as you're doing it. Thank you. 
So how long you have been grooming, Phil? I have been grooming for... How old am I now? Uh, 26 years. I started beating. <laughs> beating and working at a kennel and then... So how long does it usually take you if you are doing it at show? Fifteen. I leave fifteen minutes for my spray. That quick? I've been doing it for years. Fifteen minutes. Not fifteen minutes. Fifteen. One five. One five. They had a pin brush. A pin brush. Pin brush. <laughs> Pin brush. No, no, no. Yeah, 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 yeah that one. Yeah. See, I'm it's <laughs> Wrong country. He can go out smoke, yeah. Yeah, like the the groom, yeah. No, not him. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Let me go to that side. One second. <laughs> do you have any way that I mean, what I mean? Do you can you explain what you just did? Like yeah. So you just you when you go from the front back, you're putting mm -hmm. your base in, right? And then when you go from the back forward, you're putting. The basic shape in. Now I switch to a pin brush. Mm -hmm. And oh yeah, I know. I know. And um, because I want this video to be more educational too, so more people can. Yeah. Yeah. So now I work on putting the sides, and that's where you get the height. Right. Like the length of your neck from. Mm -hmm. So it comes from the side. Yeah. And you are accomplish. I mean, they're doing that with the uh, the pin brush. Yeah. Good tools and good products are the base to getting good grooms. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
西方君。Your sides are up, then you go through. And just, I use the corner of the cone. Let's see. And I pick out my shape. All right. Do you have any shape, particular shape that you like? Yeah, it should. It should come up from the back. One second. Highest, it should come up from the back, and your highest point should be behind the occiput, not here. It should right. be right here. That's how you get the arch to your neck. That I love the Igo hairspray, especially for spray ups, is it's not a heavy spray, so it doesn't weigh the hair down. It dries quick, so it lets you get stuff into place, but it, for as hard holding as it is, you can still work it. You can still comb it out and, and change your shape easy enough. It's fancy, huh? And now I just go through and make sure that it's symmetrical. And is this what you do? I mean, how you do it at the show too? This is exactly how I do it at the show. And then the other thing I do is mm -hmm. I pull their head forward and anywhere that breaks. Okay, can you do it again? Yeah. 